sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's September 2021 and of course we now get access to the Mosquito Fighter Bomber Mark VI. The first thing we're going to do is set the controls up. It's important to say at this point that these controls are likely to change as we go through early access, so we'll have to update this when the controls change later on so into our control options or just controls on this menu here we want mosquito fighter bomber mark six and here we're going to start on the axis commands as ever i've already set mine up but i'm going to show you roughly where i've set them up and how i've set them up so i'm going to start at the bottom of axis I put an axis on zoom view. I've got a sprung wheel on my left hotas of my wing wing that I've set to zoom in and zoom out. You'll almost certainly also want an axis for your wheel brakes. I've done the toe braking axis on my right rudder pedal. You may need to do something else, but it's gonna be similar to the Spitfire when we're gonna to want to put a certain percentage of wheel braking to allow us to taxi properly so i prefer doing it like this than just an on or an off next axis i've got are the throttles everything in this aircraft is a bit different to all of the other warbirds as you'll find out and i'll explain why as we go so throttles i've got my right throttle and my left throttle on my typical left and right split throttles you could do it like that if you want constant control over both of the throttles or if you want just one of the HOTAS levers to be able to control both throttles then you can use this instead select it in that case one of your actual throttle levers could control whichever engines you've got selected both of them or just the left or just the right I prefer to have instantaneous control of both engines so this is how I'm going to do it next I've got the rudder and I've just obviously got the rudder axis my rudder pedals are currently broken and so we're going to have some interesting ruddering but it's more or less there I would also suggest unless you've got very good rudder pedals and I don't to do an axis tune on that and add some positive curve I'm just going for about mid 20 something like that should do it you'll need your roll obviously which will just be your control stick left and right you will need your pitch your control stick forward and backwards the only other thing you might want to consider would be this guy here the rpm of the propeller you might want to have an axis some of our guys have the secondary or the left hotas throttle lever as that here again you can do it either one axis for the left one axis for the right or you can have one axis that can control both of them uh, whichever engine you've got selected for my prop rpm i'm just going to have you know binary push button commands that's how i want to do it okay so that is the axis probably everything you'll want next we're going to find the controls via search because they're not put into menus yet they will be almost certainly be renamed and put into menus over the next few months or weeks so just bear that in mind let's start with shooting stuff so under search we're going to go machine gun fire machine guns and i've got that as my uh, it's my trigger next you want to fire the cannons because we've got four cannons obviously and i put that as my kind of secondary weapon release button as my secondary trigger on my stick obviously and the third type of trigger that we're going to have is the bomb drop and weirdly that's called for now at least trigger i'm sure it will be renamed soon trigger button will drop the bombs and i've got a, a kind of third thing i can use as a trigger on the top of my stick I should say the most important thing you'll gain from this video is not where I set it, it's which are the most important command to bind. That's the most useful thing you'll find. Next, trim. So back to search. Trim. Kind of binary commands. Trim uh, left, trim right, trim up, trim down. I've got a four-way trim hat on my uh, kind of replica F-18 wing wing stick here that I've used. The guy has also said you should use rudder trim as well, so set something up for rudder trim, a left and a right for that. I tend to fly without rudder trim so i'm not going to do it but i suggest you guys probably do next flaps little complex compared to most planes so four controls i've got here for the flaps i've actually got a four way uh, hat switch on the right of my throttle lever here up for pull the flaps up down for push the flaps down we've then got forward for unlock lock latch back for lock it so let's just go and show what that means the flaps control lever is here i would first remove the latch i would then put the flaps down until we would reached whichever flap wanted to be want then we would neutralize the flaps 
and then we will lock the latch if it hasn't locked automatically. So four binary controls I've got set there. Next, search, site. I would suggest having five controls, the site, you can have less if you want. First of all, just a simple switch here for uh, gun site power on or off. I'm using for this on my stick a spare four-way hat switch with press. The press is going to be turn the gun site on and off. The right and left are going to be hostile wingspan increase decrease. And forwards and backs will be range increase decrease. And let's have a look at that in practice. So power on, wingspan increase decrease range increase decrease and power off next search gear like the flap lever we have a lock latch to be able to maneuver this lever we've been doing the actual latch ourselves with the mouse cursor and all we've found is the actual gear pull up and push down so gear up gear down and we'll do the lock latch with the mouse cursor and finally rpm back to search RPM, we need to be able to increase, decrease the RPM of the propeller. We can either do it specifically to left side and right side increase and decrease, or we can set both of them at the same time like I've done, and automatically bound is page up for both RPMs to go up and page down for both RPMs to go down, and I've just left it at that. That is everything we've set the first pass of the Mosquito. When it changes, as I'm sure it will do, or other important things need added, I will let you know and revise the video. I hope that was useful and see you later.